everybody. It's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and I am here with Nick, Nick, Nico Nicola. Nicola from Daisy and Grace. I always say it wrong. I say Nicola. I um, love it when you say Nicola. 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 From England. From Daisy and Grace. Anyway, uh, people are nuts about these necklaces. It's beautiful, Aren't isn't they it? Aren't they gorgeous? They're so gorgeous. Anyway, we have the little kits, and I thought we'd do you a quick tutorial and show you how to make these. So this is what the pattern front looks like. And when you open the pattern, you get all this. Well, well, not the one. needles. <laughs> so you get you get a strip of black for your backs. You get a bunch of little squares for your fronts. You get two different types of of hexagons. Yeah, it's a hexagon, right? Yeah, um, one hexagon. Hexagon. Good. Hexagon. Hexagon. One has, <laughs> one has sticky on it, and one is freezer paper. Yeah, exactly. And then you get a cord. You can make, um, you can, there's oh, a little earring set. Yeah, you get the little, little posts, the little fisheye post. earrings, and you get a brooch pin. So all kinds of things you can do with this little kit. It's fabulous. I just think this is the most gorgeous thing. And it brightens any outfit it up. Bright, it triple brightens it up. Yeah, so cute. True. I saw hers and I said, I want one of those. She's like, I made you one. I'm like, you're my favorite. Am I? She's my, she's my favorite. You're my favorite. Awesome. You're my favorite. My favorite. My favorite. We're going to talk English while we're, we're gonna, here today. And I'll, I'll try. Oh, no, I can't. don't. No. Don't do it. American. An English accent is so much more lovely I know. than American. Every, everyone here has been saying, I could listen to you forever. I know. Would you read me stories at bedtime? But I'm so common. <laughs> I don't speak the Queen's English. It. Well, that's all right. We like the commoner English. Yeah. All right, we're going to get our goggles on. She yeah, calls them. Goggles. goggles. Yeah, so we can see what we're doing. Because we're going to make a little one. We're going to we? make a little one of this. And see, it's got the black on the back and the color on the front. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of these little squares right here. Yep. And we're going to take one of these ones with, it has a little bit of shiny glue on it. And we're going to press that on these little squares. So if you want to iron, you can do both two at a time right there. I can. You're going yep. to need a needle and probably some black thread. Um, and I'm using a sew line glue pen as well. Uh, but we're going to iron yep. these. And the glue takes a little bit of C encouragement. Yeah, it, it doesn't instantly stick. There we go. That's all right. So don't panic. So then what we're going to do is we're going to cut the corners off. So this like mirrors the hexagon. Because I wasn't going to cut, cut out all little hexagon shapes, Jenny. No, thank you. I, I get that. I'm, I'm, not I'm doing actually that. thrilled that you cut out all of these. <laughs> I think you should just send a copy and let people cut their own if you want to know I the know. truth. We, we discuss that. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so we're going to take the glue pen. We're going to put a tiny little row of glue on here. And we're just going to fold this over. And we're going to go all the way around the hexagon. And when you do this, you're going to go side to side. You know, you're just going to continue in a circle. So I'm here, and I'm going to fold this over. Is this how you do it? Do you want to yeah. use this? Yeah, right. can I? Oh. Yeah, you go ahead and do one, too. I'll do the back in. And um, we'll share a pen. We will, will we? <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, no, it's fine. <laughs> may I share your pen, please, yes, Jenny? Yes, you may, of course. May of I? Course. Yes, you may. May I? Yes, you may. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm delighted. Uh, delighted. I like delighted. Delighted. That's a, that's a nice English word, delighted. It's so special. So special. Come on. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Hurry up. Oh, I see. You're waiting for me. Here we go. I need to borrow your pen. There you go. All right. So this is the front. The back is on this black. The strip comes in your package. And you're going to find the thinner piece. And that this is actually freezer paper. Yeah. And now, how many hexagons could you actually make in this kit? How many little squares of fabric do you put in here? I put in 30 squares of fabric. And how many is on this necklace? Uh, so, uh, two, I'm counting, sorry, I'm not just. Okay, two, just four, stare at my six, chest. Eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. 16, so you could actually make two of these with this pack. You could. Yeah. Or add some. You know what's really nice, Jenny? And we're not going to get emotional. Okay. Is if you had a little bit of fabric from a, a little treasure. Put, oh. put, my necklace has gone scruffy. Or, or even a tiny put, little embroidery. Yeah, and then it's next to your heart, and oh. you can carry it around with you. But we're not ne get going... Next to my heart. Heart. I love next. it. All Shall right. I start sewing one? Yes. Could I have the a, a, fab, a, a posh fabric one, not this the black one? one? The posh? The posh fabric. Does posh mean pretty? Uh, posh means port out, starboard home. Oh, my. There you go. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> I consider my necklace very posh. Yes, it's very posh. So when when in cruise times in long long time ago, the 
port side was the sunny side, mm -hmm. and when they came home, the starboard side was, so the posh people paid extra. Oh, how cool is that? I had no idea. I know, my husband told me that one. Wow. He's handy. He handy is. To have around. He is indeed. All right. So what I'm going to do, oh. just because I can, is I'm actually going to put a little dab of glue in, in the middle that, of mine. Oh, you see, that's why you're an expert, isn't and it? Then, I didn't even think of that. And then they'll stick together. Oh. All right, so let me glue this one down. And I've I'm just started sewing you. mine. So all I'm doing is I'm just catching. I use black thread so that it matches the back. Like you would on a binding, really. You match the thread to the binding, don't you? So I do, yes. Um, and just little stitches catching it all the way around. That's all you're doing to make a whole hexagon. 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 It is interesting how, you know, just in a couple short hundred years, I mean, most everybody here came from, well, I mean, a lot of, I mean, first America was first settled, you know, over here. Mm. No, I'm getting that all wrong. There's, you are. <laughs> it was, uh, never mind, never mind that part at all. I mean, anyway, we're just going to go on. You came from us, most of you. Yes, England. Yeah. Well, especially my Downs came from England. Oh, weren't you? Mm -hmm. John Down was a forester in England. Was he? Yes, I've traced Ooh. that back to the 16s. Wow. All right, so wait, your knot, the knot here, we want to hide the knot. Yeah, just so put we're gonna that go, inside. We're going to go through here and come out the, this corner fold right yeah. here. Yeah, start on a corner, it's a little bit easier. All right, and then I'm going to put these together. Yep. This and then we're just going to sew around. And so when you sew, are you double thread? No, I'm single thread for okay. this bit. But it doesn't matter. Okay. Honestly. Well, single might we, be easier. As I said yesterday, there's no quilt police. No quilt police in Hamilton, well, say, that's for sure. So do you go <laughs> right through the right through the fold where it folds over? Yeah, but not and onto come the... And straight, come straight across like this, like a ladder stitch? That is so perfect. So where it comes out, you go that straight across? That is exactly it. And come up and yep. come out, the, come through uh, yep. the back. Yeah, and just catch that all the way round. Nice. Nice right. and easy, and good to sit in front of the TV. Yes. Except for we've got to sit oh, in. I do love to sew in front of the TV. Me too. You know, too. most of us do because, you know, our husbands want to watch TV, and we need something for our hands to do. Yeah. And so we do this little stuff like this. I can't actually watch TV without having anything in my hand to do. I'm exactly the same. Just can't. And you just can't spend that much time scrolling on your phone. Well, I probably well, could. But yes, me too, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't want really, you know. We don't like to. Admit it's not to that. productive. No, it's not. This is so. And then you get something beautiful to wear. No kidding. And then all those tiny, look how tiny these are, Jenny. All They're those so little scraps cute. that you could be making you jewelry can, out of. That's right. Little so earrings. Jewelry. 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 I can't say jewelry. So we're, I'm nearly done. How are you doing? I think I have one side left. Nope, I've got, oh, I've got, I'm halfway done. Yeah, we're getting there. We're close. But you have, we have one that's done yeah. here, so, so you when can show this next let, stitch. Yeah, exactly. And this is the, because it's not like in English paper piecing. No, she's going to teach you how to do a, like a little buttonhole stitch. And basically, we're, you're, she's just going to tack the corners together, which is yeah. ever so much nice. You know, I mean, it's yeah. so much nicer because it's like, you, you can see. And you don't have to sew everything together. And I love that it like sets them apart a little exactly. bit. Exactly. And when you turn it over, you can see a hint of the color on the front. I do love that. It's amazing. So I'm going to double. I actually um, thought this back piece was felt. Really? Yeah. That's now, bad. if you want to, um, on the freezer paper, you can take that little paper out. I yeah. did not take mine out. Did you? No, I no. didn't either this time. So my Which theory was... on that is if anybody comes up and tries to... <laughs> Feel your necklace and and, <laughs> and it goes crunchy. That's their problem. They're, they're not your friend. You no, know? exactly. So we, we're just going to not even think about that. So I've double. Um, I've got a double layer of thread, and I'm going to hide the knot in the back of the hexagon. So I'm going to put my needle in. So, Nicola, when you do this, do you just do all the hexagons first, yeah. or do you do two and sew them together? And no, I do them all first because it, I've done the necklace in this. Oh, you want form, to place them, but you can you Color. can um, you can make your own style of necklaces as well. You don't have to just copy me. Oh, well, that's what's fun about this, isn't it? Yeah, so you can play as well. I pulled the knot right through my hexagon, Jenny. Okay, so right here, where I'm at the end, and and do you have a special way to knot this so that it doesn't? I just do one stitch over, uh -huh. leaving a loop. Okay. Put that's, my needle through the loop. That's what I do, Jenny. Yeah. All right, so we got a loop. Nothing special Needle through there. the loop, pull it tight, 
And then do you just like sew in and come out like the middle so you're not like right on the edge? Exactly. All right, perfect. Same, same. All right. So can I use your one? To Please. So we're going to put right sides together. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is catch, so this thread is in this corner and I'm going to catch the black fabric on the other corner. Pull that through. Nice. And then I'm going to catch this side again. All right. And I don't want to make a loop in there. I just want You're just doing straight tacks back and forth with double thread. But I'm not pulling that tight. Okay. So you hopefully you can see that you can see the two stitches. Two the stitches and then I'm going to do a third one. And I tend to just do one side at a time. Oh, that's probably so it won't get so tight. Yeah. So there we have, we've got our little bar, and then when I open them out, actually if I put it on the grey there, look, can you see we've got a little bar across? Yeah. There. Okay. So what we're going to do, I'm going to hold those in my fingers, and I put the needle round, oh, this is it where it goes all wrong, and I've formed a loop, mm -hmm. I'm going to put my needle in the loop, and this is a buttonhole stitch, and I'm then going to pull that, I right think all the of end. us have been doing that stitch our whole lives. We just didn't know what it was called. Really? Yeah, buttonhole stitch through the Button, loop. Through the loop. A lot of us not like that. It's when you make belt loops and things mm -hmm. as well, you can do it. And then you're, when you pull the, the knot, you just butt it up against the, the one before. Mm -hmm. Just line them up. And then you're creating this lovely little... Band. So is there a uh, number of how many of those you do? No, just you till you feel your, it depends how wide your stitches oh, are. Okay. This is quite wide for me, this one. So I'm doing a few, so but it doesn't really matter. To your matter. benefit, because you get to see it over and over, right? There we go. I think I can there only get one more in there, Jenny. All right, so, so then how do you, how do you end it? Yeah, we're nearly there. And then I pop the needle into that side. I run the, it's going to go knotty now, isn't it? It's going to go. A, a knotty knot. A knotty knot. The thread's going to go all knotty, Jenny. <laughs> yeah, look, look at that. Last one. Well, it'll come if we do. Sep let's separate these like this. Or Oops. we could just cut it off, can't we? Well, we can cut it off, but we want to make sure that it stays. And so I think if we can separate these, if I could just get them. I even have my glasses on and I can barely see them. All right, actually, these are Kathleen's glasses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. They're not glasses. Oh. Ooh. That, no, it won't go. That so you can just cut that off. Yeah, so you, and then you run that through and cut that off. And then I'm going to move all that. Look at that. That's beautiful. You've got your little links. So you do one on each corner. One on each corner. And when you put them together. When you put three together, you only need two links. And honestly, it shows, it's all in there. It shows this all in this pattern. Dave made a kit. lovely diagram Look here. It. Look at that. Isn't he a good lad? And he did it with white thread so you can see it. It looks beautiful. Thank you, Dave. Anyway, we hope this helps you make your necklace. We love them. We think it's gorgeous. Yeah. And uh, thanks so much and for being fun. with us this week. This has just been such a fun week it's to good. have Nicola from Daisy and Grace here. And I said it right, Nicola. Don't be shocked. I didn't even have that look on my face, did I? <laughs> right. Well, anyway, we'll see you later, you guys. Bye. Have a great day. Hi, everybody. It's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you aren't already part of the Missouri Star Quilt Company family, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a thing. And if you click that bell, it'll notify you every time a new tutorial comes out. See you next Friday.